All right, guys, a uh, quick little video here. Uh, I figured I'd just show the assembly of these stairs here uh, that are 3D printed for the uh, Aqua trailer. Because um, they are going to be part of the little kit maybe I'll put together so you can build your own trailer. Uh, you got to have these stairs, of course. So anyway, I just want to mention a couple of things. Just being 3D printed, they printed really nice. You can see how clean uh, the print is. I used a .2 nozzle. For the most part, all the little holes are, are really good and, uh, and even, but it's just on a few of the pieces here, like these ones here, one, two, three, they have these little nibs on the end there, and you can kind of see they're supposed to be square, but they're just so small that the printer still makes them a little bit round and then uh, causes them to, you see the little hole there, to not really fit in there that well. So I'm trying to ram the heck out of it. So what you need to do is take a little file or, or a hobby knife or something and uh, kind of just square these little, these little edges off. So just wanted to mention that. I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, I'll start fitting it all together and show you guys what it looks like. All right, uh, finished all the sanding. The only ones that really needed sanding were these, these three here on this piece. This one here seemed to be pretty good, so... Anyway, just to move along here to show you how I like to assemble this thing because it, does, it doesn't just clip together and sit nice and square. You do kind of need to square it yourself. So what I like to do is use this mat here. Uh, I put this bottom piece, one with the holes, uh, at a 90 degree angle. Uh, dab these in glue and then stick them in there. I kind of just eyeball it 90 degrees. And then what I like to do after is just use this stuff here so you're not holding it forever. All right, that's all uh, done. So the next thing I like to do is, is put the deck in. So got those two little nibs right there and I put a dab of glue on them and then maybe a little dab on that little spot there where the de deck's gonna sit. So you might have to wiggle it in there, but it, it goes in there pretty easy. So you stick that one notch in the front and then the one on the back and just sit it down on that little spot there. And then that's in there. So you can even check it again to make sure you're, uh, you're square. All right, so that's all done. Uh, if you want, you can add a little bit of glue to the joints here and on the bottom side, but uh, the next step is these two pieces here. What I like to do is take this long bar and then stick it into that hole right there. And then from there, I like to flip the unit around and this connects. I don't know how well you can see it, but that connects into there. That goes into the bottom side and then you can kind of wiggle that into place. And uh, that's it. And we'll move on to the uh, steps. All right, continuing on here, I've uh, got the uh, steps here and then the side rails that are going to make up the stairs, and then we'll glue them all together to the uh, staircase portion here. You see the little slots on the bottom of the deck there? That's where this is going to uh, clip into. So just keep that in mind. There's a, on the side rails here, there's a fatter end and then a little skinnier end there, you see. The fatter end is the end that's going to go under the deck here, so uh, keep that in mind. Also, the steps themselves, um, they got to go in a certain way, otherwise they won't fit. So um, they were designed here, you see this notch, it's not exactly in the middle, it's closer to one edge than it is the other. So the closer edge, which is this right here, that's the edge that's going to go forward um, on the uh, 
the two side pieces here. You can't flip them around 180, otherwise they won't fit into the little notches here. So um, I'll glue those all in like that. And also I'll mention too, I like to glue these in uh, first before I, I, I glue the uh, side rails into the bottom of the deck. Just because uh, you, you do have to push in a little bit um, to get them to fit. And that's easier to do when you got it in your hand like that. So um, that's pretty much it. So I'll glue these all together. And then uh, I'll show you one last time before we put it all together. All right, final step here, and uh, that's going to be putting a little glue on these pieces here. All right, so they're all finished up here, and the uh, last thing to do is maybe give it a little bit of a sand, some of the joints, and uh, you can see some of the little cruddy bits there that the printer leaves behind. But anyway, this one here I painted, it was designed the wrong way, as I was saying before. Um, kind of had the door opening that way. But uh, I think the silver paint looks really good. So you can paint it any color you like, but now that it's Facing the right way, the door will open up properly, so kind of like that there. But anyway, just to show you some of the uh, things I've done since um, the last video. Got a little uh, newspaper on his desk there, a little ashtray, and a smoke going. So, kind of see here, it's coming to life. So that'll sit in there like that. Side here, I got the AC unit in there. And uh, got a few little bits I'm gonna add to the, to the back side here. I got a little breaker panel, um, some conduit and stuff like that. I'm gonna glue on there like that. I got a little propane tank here, some hose. All kinds of little bits. I made a little bookshelf. I think I'm going to paint this uh, dark brown. I don't like that color. But anyways, some little books up on the shelf there. Maybe a roll of that on there too. Also printed these little um, uh, what the heck are these things called again? Brackets. I don't know yet, but anyway guys, coming along, um, that's pretty much it for this one here guys, thanks for watching, and um, see you guys in the next one.